What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel and in this video I'm going to give you five reasons why the Texas Longhorns will beat the Washington Huskies in the college football playoff semifinal. And before I start this video, again this is not my official prediction. This is simply like five reasons and five keys in order for Texas to beat Washington in the college football playoff semifinal. And like I said, my official predictions for the playoff games are officially coming right after Christmas. So again, stay tuned for those videos coming out right after Christmas holiday and everything. So again, we're going to give you five reasons here for this Texas team, uh, what they have to do to beat Washington in the college football playoff. And like I said, these are five reasons and like five keys here to the game here for Texas. So let's get right into it here. And again, if you have not seen those other videos, go back and check them out. I did Michigan on Sunday, and then yesterday I gave you Washington. So if you have not seen those other five reason videos for the playoff teams, uh, go back and watch that if you have not seen it. But let's get right into my five reasons here why Texas will beat Washington here once again in the college football playoff semifinal. Again, not saying they're going to. These are just simply like five reasons and five keys to the game here for Texas. So let's get right into these five reasons. We'll start from the bottom and work our way to the top. We'll start here with the number five reason. The number five reason for Texas here is the talent. So Texas, this is a really talented team that I think has a really good chance going into the college football playoff to be one of the most talented uh, playoff teams out there. Uh, Texas has a lot of talent on both sides of the football, especially on the offensive side of the football and the defensive side of the football. You look at what Texas has done this year, especially with the talent-wise. Uh, they defeated Alabama in the month of September that year, and then, you know, people were just doubting this Texas team in the offseason. They were not calling them a playoff contender. They were also not really projected to win the Big 12 championship either. But look what they have done this year. You know, they beat Alabama in the, in the like, September game. Uh, they beat them back in that week number two matchup, and that was the game where, you know, this talent started to come into play for Texas. And this is probably the most talented Texas team that I've seen in a very long time, you know, probably since like the 2009 Texas football team, but I think this team is better, you know, is more talented than that Texas team back in 2009. This is probably a more talented offense. This is probably a more talented defense as well. And again, the talent is there for Texas here to beat Washington in the playoff semifinal. I think both of these teams are pretty talented going into this game, but I think Texas probably is the more talented team. Uh, they're not the most experienced roster. You know, Washington has more experience on both sides of the football. But again, Texas is probably the more talented team going into this game. So I think this is a reason why, I think this is the number five reason um, why they can uh, beat Washington here in the college football playoff semifinal. And again, it's just really the talent of this roster here that Texas has. So this is my number five reason, the talent for Texas here to beat um, Washington here in the college football playoff semifinal. Let's go now to number four. Number four for me is the explosive offense. So Texas has a very explosive offense. I did say Washington has an explosive offense from yesterday's reasons, and so does Texas. Texas has a very explosive offense. Uh, this is one of the most explosive offenses here in the Big 12 and maybe in the country as well. Um, they were very explosive in that Big 12 championship game against Oklahoma State. I was very impressed with this offense overall. The passing game was very impressive, and so was the defense. But again, we're talking about the explosive offense here that Texas has. And again, this has been a very explosive offense. Like I said, this might be the most explosive offense in the country and probably in the Big 12. I think this is probably the most um, explosive Texas offense that we've seen in recent years as well. And, you know, you just look over the years where Texas was on the offensive side of the football. Uh, we did see some inconsistency. We also some consistency a little bit there. But, you know, Texas, this might be the best offense that they've had in a very long time in college football history. Like I said, I think this is a more talented uh, Texas team, you know, probably since that 2009 team. And also the most explosive offense here that Texas had in recent history as well. Probably since that 2009 team as well. They were pretty good on the offensive side of the football that year but this might be the better offense compared to that Texas team uh, back in like 2009 so again I did um, have like a reason yesterday here with Washington and that's the explosive offense I'm including the same thing here for Texas again if they can score points if they can really be explosive on the offensive side of the football um, again it's going to really turn into a big time shootout here in this game 
And also, Texas is the favorite in this game, and the over and under is at 63 and a half. So we're kind of expecting a really explosive offenses here uh, between these two teams. I think we're going to kind of expect a shootout here. So this is my number four reason why I think Texas can beat Washington here in the playoff semifinal, and that is the explosive offense here for the Longhorns. Uh, let's move on to number three now. We got the defense for Texas. So number three is the defense. I think going into this game, Texas has a better defense than Washington. Uh, you know, they may not be the most talented defense, but, you know, they are a really physical defense. We saw that in the Big 12 championship. Uh, they played really solid defense on the defensive side of the football. I was very impressed with their performance in that Big 12 championship, especially on the defensive side of the football. And um, if this defense, you know, both of these defenses, defenses, it's going to come down to both defenses in this game uh, for both of these teams in order to win the college football playoff semifinal. I think we're going to kind of find out who has a better defense going into this game. And to be honest, I think Texas has a better defense than Washington. Um, you know, if they do make some stops on that explosive offense in Washington, uh, defensively, Texas is probably going to win this game, you know. Like I said, if Texas's defense can force the turnovers, if they can force the fumbles and everything, Texas's defense might be able to make some stops in this game. And, you know, Washington does have, like, a pretty average defense. So if Texas's offense can score points, that's going to really help them going into this matchup. So I think Texas going into this game, they do have, like, a really good defense. And like I said, I think this might be a better defense than Washington's compared. So, again, defensively, um, this is where Texas has been really strong this year as well, not just on the offensive side of the football, but defensively on the defensive side of the football. So, again, Texas has a really good defense in this game. So we're going to find out how good they are against this like really high-powered offense of Washington. And again, they were very good in that Big 12 championship. Um, let's see if they can keep that momentum up going into this game against Washington this upcoming uh, January the 1st. So this is my number three reason why I think Texas can beat you know Washington in the college football playoff semifinal. It's just because they have a better defense than Washington. So this is my number three reason. Let's now go to my number two reason why I think Texas can win against Washington in the playoff semifinal. And that number two reason is confidence. So this is a very confident Texas team. You know, we've been seeing that over the course of the year now. Ever since the start of the season, they had confidence going into that Alabama game. They also had confidence going into the Oklahoma game. They did lose to Oklahoma. That's been their only loss this year. But you could tell how confident this team was going into the Big 12 championship game as well against Oklahoma State. They came in there absolutely confident in that game. And like I said, that big win against Alabama proved to be the confidence of this Texas team. And again, we just saw a lot of confidence from the rest of the year for this Texas team. And again, if you look at where Texas has been over the recent years of history, you know, back in 2009, that was the last time they won the Big 12 championship. And also that was the last time they went into the national championship. Now, they did lose the national championship to Alabama, but this has been a different Texas team ever since Steve Sarkeesian arrived here about three years ago. Uh, he arrived in like 2021. Five and seven in his first year, second year, eight and five. And then on his third year, he's in the playoff here and also has led this Texas team with a win over Alabama and also to a Big 12 championship. And I think going into this game, Texas is going to have a lot of confidence against Washington. I think this has been a very confident Texas team all year long. And if they bring that confidence going into this game against Washington, that's definitely going to help them out. Again, if they show the confidence going into this game against Washington, that is the reason why I think they can win this game. So this is my number two reason why Texas, I think they can win a college football playoff semifinal matchup here against Washington. It's just the confidence of this Texas team. And I do have a lot of confidence that Steve Sarkis is going to really call the right plays as well. So this is my number two reason why I think Texas can beat Washington in the college football playoff semifinal. And again, this is not my number one reason. Again, my number two reason is confidence for Texas. But let's go now to my number one reason why I think Texas here will beat Washington here in the college football playoff semifinal. And that number one reason for me is Quinn Ewers, the quarterback for Texas here. Uh, what a season that Quinn Ewers has had. You look at where he was last year. Suffered an injury against Alabama in that Week 2 matchup. Then he comes back the next year and plays a full game against the Crimson Tide. And then he led them to a victory over Alabama as well. Of course, that was in the early part of the season. You know, Alabama wasn't better by that time, but now they're better as of right now. But um, 
Again, you just look at Quinn Ewers, what he's been through this year. Uh, look at his stats as well this year. 21 touchdown passes and six interceptions and about 3,161 yards of passing. So Quinn Ewers has had a really good season. And um, I don't think Texas would be in the college football playoff if it wasn't for him. You know, like I said, if Quinn Ewers was like out for the whole season, if, you know, coming into this year, if he was out, uh, you know, Texas probably would have not made the college football playoff. They also probably would have not made it to the Big 12 championship. And they probably would have had a really disastrous season. But with him being fully healthy going into this game against Washington, that definitely helps them out. And again, Quinn Ewers wasn't a Heisman candidate. He wasn't like a Heisman finalist, but he was up there with the Heisman candidates and everything. I think he probably just got out because of the injury that he suffered in the middle part of the season. But once he came back from injury, he has been very unstoppable. And again, I don't think Texas would be in the college football playoff if it wasn't for him. Again, this is a very talented quarterback. Quinn Ewers, a future first-round NFL draft pick, in my, you know, in my opinion and everything. And again, I think he's a future Heisman Trophy winner as well if he stays another year for college, maybe next year. And he might have a little bit of momentum going into that next year as well. So again, if it wasn't for Quinn Ewers, Texas wouldn't be in the college football playoff. And again, he really performed well in that Big 12 championship. And again, he was so impactful in that Alabama game early in the year as well. So again, this is my number one reason why I think Texas will beat Washington here in the college football playoff. Again, it's the quarterback, Quinn Ewers. Again, he is the leader on this team, and also he's led this Texas team to a Big 12 championship, a win over Alabama early in the season, and now to a chance to make a run for the national championship. So this is my number one reason why I think Texas can beat Washington here in the college football playoff. And those are officially my five reasons why Texas will beat Washington in the college football playoff semifinal. Uh, let me guys know what you think about these five reasons why Texas will beat Washington here in the college football playoff. And also give me your five reasons down in the comments below why Texas will beat Washington in the college football playoff. Again, this is not my official prediction. This is simply like five keys and five reasons why I think Texas can beat Washington and also how they can beat Washington as well. And like I said, I'll have my playoff predictions right after Christmas. Again, we are continuing these five reason videos tomorrow. I will have Alabama to end things out with these five reason videos tomorrow. So stay tuned for that video coming out tomorrow. But again, this is my official five reasons why Texas will beat Washington here in the college football playoff semifinal. And again, let me know down in the comments below what do you think about these five reasons. And thank you for watching this video and stay tuned here for more sports content videos on my Lucas Ross Sports Channel.